Today, we open up this fake booster box of Sun and Moon's Ultra Prism. The real booster box is sold for $1,500. Some people have paid more thinking it's the real set, but we're about to open up this fake, horrible set right now and find out how bad these cards really are. Welcome back my Chase family, fellow card chaser here, Pokey Hand. And here we have the old school set of Sun and Moon Ultra Prism. This entire booster box has sold for up to $1,500 and more on eBay. But this is the fake set, but people have spent so much on the fake set thinking it's the real set because if you don't know what you're looking for well they're out there off the bat straight away obviously you know the cards are the wrong way around there's going to be a lot more things in this booster box that, excuse me it's going to be way more things wrong in this booster box that isn't just the way the cards are in the box it's going to be the cards on the inside maybe the artwork how faded they are how horrible they look the wrong way around there's going to be so much so many red flags that this booster box is fake but some people just don't know. Some people get it, they sit on it thinking it's real, and then one day they open it up and realize it's not real and it's too late. Or some people just sit on it and then resell it thinking it's real and then it's too late. We're about to open up one half of this booster box and find out how bad these fake cards are. Because these cards are getting reprinted now. We've got ourselves the pack here, the pack art there, not too bad, a bit shiny and things like that. Obviously, it's very blurry and poorly made at the back, and that is so hard to read that if you just looked at this from a distance and you saw that in a market, you know that's fake. And they're selling them in markets left and right. People are buying them left and right. Ten additional cards. We're about to find out. There's probably like three in there. Can we do the pack trick with these, which I highly doubt. I don't know what the pack trick is for the Sun and Moon set. So I'm going to assume that this is the proper card, and then I... Yeah, there you go. GX off the bat. All right, that doesn't look too bad. All right, I'll give you that. That doesn't look too bad. It's a bit dark, but other than that, it's not too bad. The back of it, eh, it's not too bad. All right, compared to like the later sets, that's actually pretty scary in terms of how good it looks. Because you open up the, um, the newer sets and some of them look horrible. And this is the Sun and Moon era. So this is when fake cards were looking like fake cards, like they were horrible, like there's Yu-Gi-Oh fake cards, which I've been meaning to open. But this is a reprinted of the old set, so they've obviously tried, they're different now, they're made differently now. All right, that one's got a massive dent up the top straight away. All right, so we know that this back card here is the card that we don't want to see, so we do that, and then we, I don't know, how do we do that without it being seen? I don't know, I'll figure that out. All right, I guess we can just kind of flip it around at the end to see which card it is. All right, we've got us up there. We go another GX card. It's like the full art version of the one we just opened. Oh, that's a really cool artwork of um, Leafy on there. That's pretty cool. That would have been like probably the top artwork people would have been after for this set if that was the correct artwork for it. All right, so that is the card there. So I guess we just, I guess we just ignore it and put it at the back there and just find out which card it is at the end. We have a look at the cards here. See, they're not as glossy. Well, they're still glossy, but they're not as glossy as some other sets. Like when I opened up Chilling Rain, that was pretty glossy. All right, look at that Guzzlord GX. See, that doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Like I've seen worse in terms of full arts, EX cards, GX cards, V Star, all that stuff. All right, so we put this bad boy at the back here. Flip it upside down. Good old ape there. All right, there we go. Let us find out. What were these cards called? What were these ones called? Like prism cards, I guess. I don't know, because I didn't really collect that set. Like I said, the Sun and Moon set, I've been saying for ages, the Sun and Moon set, wasn't really, I wasn't collecting it back then. All right, so obviously I came back into it with Sword and Shield. I want to say it was Sword and Shield base sets, or it was, I don't know, Vivid Voltage, something around that time. All right, so we put this bad boy back here. All right, I hate this bloody card. I hate Tapu Lili and all those legendaries. I just hate those cards from the Sun and Moon set. I don't know why I just do. All right, Rosella, what do we got here? All right, Guzzlord GX. See, these cards look pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like, I don't know, was Ultra Prism? Was it a popular set? You know, let me know in the comments. Was it a popular set? And while you're down there, subscribe. Help evolve this channel if you like these kind of videos because I want to open up fake packs of every single product one product that ever got made like if it's if it's fake if it's out there i'm buying it i'm showing it off and i'm spending money on it all right guzzlord gx same guzzlord 
Now let me see if I can find, there we go, we've got two Guzzlords there, look at that. They're both identical to each other. One doesn't look better printed than the other. Let's try the back. No, they're both pretty similar. Both pretty similar. All right, like always, I keep one half of the fake booster box. That way in the future I can compare it to another set, see how bad it is, see if the printing is better from a previous set or something like that, just for fun. Just so we can see if they're going backwards or forwards to see, you know, what they look like in the future. All right, we've got another one of you. We're getting a lot of doubles. Getting a lot of doubles of these GX cards, but that's all right. It's a fake set anyway, doesn't matter. All right, so if it was a real booster box and you're getting doubles of the same card, you'd be pissed. All right, what do we got here? Unless you're trying to build a deck and you need multiple cards. All right, Palkia GX. Look at that, looking like a giant snail or a penis with testicles. Let us find out if there's anything in this pack. Because so far, like the quality's been there. Well, kind of been there for the GX cards. What the hell is that? That looks horrible. All right, that looks pretty bad too. It's just like he's been placed there with like, I don't know, a white stroke effect on him. Why is there two gibbles? Is there supposed to be two gibbles? I don't think there's supposed to be two gibbles. I'm going to say one's from a previous set. Or is there two gibbles in the set? And what is that? It's another horrible card. Glaceon GX. Look at that. Proud, large, and in charge. Got us a few more. Well, we've got more than a few more. We've got probably about 10 packs left. All right, let's just go straight into it. Look at that. That is absolutely, I don't know what you'd call that. Where does that start and where does that begin? I don't know. But there's a happy hippo. All right, Shaman. Another happy hippo. What have we got? Lux Ray. Order pad. I'm trying to be an iPad. Unless it's what you order your Mac is on. All right. We've got ourselves another horrible looking energy card. The reason why that's horrible is because it looks so flat and just the border is terrible and that cat is fat. All right, Gibble, Spirit, another Gibble, another Lecter Buzz, Unit Energy. What the f... What is that? That is, that is creepy. That is, that's like a, tw that's like a twig insect. That is horrible. If I had a Pokemon that evolved into that, mate, I'll be shooting it. That's just, that's just not right. All right, that is... That doesn't look too bad. That's that weird bat thing, isn't it, from the uh, Sun and Moon box and stuff. I only played the Sun and Moon game for, like, I don't know how long for. Maybe like an hour or two. And, I don't know. I just didn't like the fact that it didn't have gyms in it. Or well, at least that's what I was told. I haven't really played it to find out if I was wrong or not. All right, Gibble again. Another Gibble again. My God, it's the same bloody cards. All right. Alolan Golum. Alolan Golum. Alolan Golum. All right, upside down. This little goatee beard thing made of rock. I don't know. All right, that is kind of a cool Pokemon. Bring back, bring in some more dinosaur Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like that T Rex thing was pretty cool. Bring us like a, bring us some more. Bring us like a Mosasaur kind of Pokemon. You know what I mean? Or like a cool like I don't know, like a long neck that wasn't that blue one, but like a different kind of one, like a green one. All right, Dialga again. Uh, bring in some cool more bring some bring some more cool dinosaur Pokemon. Because there are some cool dinosaurs out there that they haven't done yet. You know that, that little compy, the one that eats that girl from Jurassic Park 3, you know that little t -t -t kind of thing? Bring in one of those. Bring like a little compy. And then like I know it evolves into multiple compies. Alright, so what is that? I know what that is. It's gone in the bin. That's what that is. Alright. We are down to one, two, three, five packs. All right, so let's go, okay, we're just going to go straight into it then. All right, we're after this thing. There's that. All right, so let us find out what's in this pack. And interesting that that is different. So inconsistency in these packs. All right, then we've got ourselves. All right, as you guys have been, there's going to be another gibble. All right, there we go. Palkia again. That is really ass backwards. There's another one there. All right then, I'll take that double pack. It's like they've given up. It's like they got towards the end of the end of the day and they're like, oh, I can't be bothered. Which way it goes in, just throw it in the box. When I go home, it's the weekend. All right, I know that feeling, buddy. All right, what have we got in the last, not the last pack, it's the third to last pack. Come on, get it right, Mark. All right, what have we got? Palkia. All right, we've got two, two of the same. Can we end it on something amazing or horrible and there's so many fake, 
fake packs everywhere and fake cards everywhere. I mean, this table's a mess. Mate, you should see the bin afterwards. I, I try to I try to put it all in a big bin, and then like I don't know, there's be like tons of fake cards. I don't know what to do with them. Give them away? I don't know. But my God, imagine the shipping on that. That'd be huge. All right. Or just like do a massive big giant bonfire and burn it all. That'd be kind of cool video. Now, let us see what's in the last pack of Ultra Prism Sun and Moon. Remember, if you like these kind of videos, am I rambling? Evolve this channel, subscribe, like the video, help evolve this channel. I'm gonna do a lot more fake booster boxes. The more people interact, the more people watch, the more I do. All right, let us find out what's in this last pack of Ultra Prism. We've got ourselves Celeste, Celestella, Celeste, Celestella GX. What, what is Celestella? I don't, what is that? Celestilla? I don't know. There's a horrible Pokemon. There's a horrible name. What were they thinking with these things? That is horrible. Now it's got a, there we go. It's just a sticker. See? Didn't work. But next time, I'll see you in the next chase. And next time, I'll try to get that to work. Mm -hmm.